over in the redneck garage. Well, you can see that it's raining out today, so I've been thwarted on what I want to do. So I'm working on cleaning up in the garage, but I was going to take a minute and show you uh, the progress that we've made on some of the front end components. On the ball joint, you can see that it's even locked up. It won't even go back and forth. It goes up and down, but back and forth, it's seized up. So that's bad. So we'll be replacing the U-joint in it. Okay, first thing we're going to do is knock off these old rusty clips right here. Here, here, and here. There's four clips you got to knock off. So I'll go ahead and start knocking those off. You can see that it's starting to come off there just after I hit it with a hammer. So we'll take all those nasty, nasty, rusty, stupid clips off of this frozen U-joint. All right, I took a hammer and the uh, cap just exploded, so that was good. And we've just got this one left to get up on the bottom. So I'm going to go ahead and set the press up on it and see if I can get a little tension on her. got to be kind of careful that you don't hit the side of this and bend the uh, yoke. So there's your nasty rusty cap and we got our U-joint out which is cool. Now I'm going to go ahead and continue cleaning a little bit. Uh, I'm going to sandblast on the inside and then we can paint our axle and get ready for the new parts to come in. Well, I was at a gas station yesterday making a key, and you can see the young lady getting back in the car. Um, what you don't realize is that this is the full service aisle, and it is $3.38 a gallon to have them pump your gas and wash your windshield. You notice that he doesn't check the oil, and we live in a somewhat affluent area, but let me tell you something. If I found out my kid was driving a car that I got him, and I gave him a credit card, and he went to full service because he's too lazy to get his pukey little butt out of the car and pump some gasoline, he would not be driving anymore. And here's a little slow motion of this little punk that just uh, wasted his daddy's money. What a, what a sad, sad state of affairs. I'm going to paint these with some uh, rust encapsulator from Eastwood. Right. Um, you want to be really careful about your splines on the end of it, which is cool. Um, don't drop it, don't mess it up, and then when you put reinstall it, make sure that those are really super clean. I'm not going to paint those, they may get a little paint on them, but um, I'm just washing them off with the carb cleaner real well. Get any of that oil off from the penetrating oil that we use, so they'll accept a little paint. I will say this, if you've never used a needle scaler, uh, and you just try to wire brush this stuff, you're wasting a lot of time because a needle scaler, which looks like this, right, um, it's got these little articulating steel rods, will knock a lot or most of the encased rust and paint stuff off here. You can see it kind of worked on here. But I'll just show you what it looks like to use a needle scaler, how cool this thing is. You can see from the finish how much better that is, and uh, I can tell you that while brushing it, man, you just barely get the surface of it. This actually is like a little mini hammer that knocks that rust off of it. You can see where I've done it here, and I still, you can see where you need to do it more. All right, so that's enough video of that. I'm going to keep working on this with the uh, needle scaler, get all this stuff off. Then I'll sandblast it, and it'll be pretty much ready to paint. Awesome. Cool, so UPS guy just came, and I got my... Stainless steel brake lines that I got from Morris 4x4. Super cool. They're they're stainless, but they're covered in red plastic. And I got the red plastic because I just wanted red. <laughs> I thought it would look cool. So we got two fronts and one rear, right? Um, and that's awesome. 
So we'll be installing those as we go along on this front end rebuild. And the brakes will be done on the front too. There'll be a video on that. I worked on this for a while. This is the uh, knuckle assembly, right? And I wire wheeled it, I uh, needle scaled it, and I also uh, sandblasted it. And then I coated it liberally with the uh, Eastwood Rust Saver paint. And it looks really great. It's ready to go back on. That looks super. And now I'm going to go ahead and paint it again once it's on with the uh, regular chassis paint, the satin finish. But this is the good base coat for the uh, rust saver. And it shouldn't rust through that. I ordered some new splash shields. Uh, if it ever stops raining, I can go ahead and start cleaning up this front end portion right here. But um, it's going to be a little bit, I think. Man, these parts turned out great. They look like brand new. Um, spending a little time on your parts refinishing, it takes a little bit of time, but that black um, rust encapsulator looks great on these. One of the things I want to accomplish is really to get that spring off and clean up uh, the mounting and everything so we can put our new Rough Country lift kit spring in there. So I've got screen compressors on there, and I hate screen compressors because, man, there's a lot of energy in there. If that thing springs out, it'll kill your uh, funky rear end. But uh, we're going to go ahead and start tightening it down and see if we can get that spring to compress a little bit, get that spring out, clean all that stuff up, and then we can put our new Rough Country spring in. And we're going to have a big video on Rough Country coming up. But uh, this is just one little piece of this front end cleaning and repair. I'm as hot as a whore in church. <laughs> all right, so I've got it all cleaned off for the most part, and then I've got some Eastwood Rust Converter, and we're going to just brush it on there and let it sit for a little while, and then wash it off, and then we'll be ready to paint. Um, this stuff works pretty well on uh, converting rust if it's not too thick. If it's thick, then it won't even touch it. So we've grinded it, we've I've air, needle scaled it, I've done everything to this thing. So we're going to do this to it and then wash it off and then I'll be ready to paint. But it's looking good. Alright, that looks really good. Got most of the rust off and we will be spraying it with the rust encapsulator. But any surface rust will be encapsulated by the Eastwood products. So I'm just waiting for this thing to dry and then we'll be putting some paint on it. We're ready to put our ball joints back in and moving on. Awesome. All right, so that's it, man. After one long day of cleaning and painting and everything else, that's what the uh, knuckle looks like. So it's about ready to have the ball joints installed and putting the knuckle back on. Okay, so that's about it for today. All that prep work. Uh, I was dodging the rain in and out. I actually did a bunch of cleaning out in the driveway, took a bunch of junk stuff to the dump uh, from the Toyota Corolla project and actually some stuff that I had saved up from the YJ that I didn't need anymore, just some old sheet metal. Uh, we got rid of all of that. So we got all the prep work done. It's painted with the, uh, uh, rust encapsulator. Next thing is going to be installing it back together, putting the new spring on. We're going to be talking about rough country. I know everybody's thrilled about that. Woo, rough country. Uh, Mitch, get ready. <laughs> And uh, so hopefully by this week we'll be starting to put the front end back together, at least on one side. I'm excited. I'm David from the Redneck Garage. Keep turning wrenches.